Welcome to another year of wellness with Santa Ana College. My name is Daniel Liguera, Assistant Professor with the Department of Fire Technology. Now this video is going to be a step-by-step -step instruction on how to fill out two documents. Number one being your health history questionnaire and number two being your fitness disclaimer. Beginning with number one, log on to our website sac.smartabase.com forward slash sacfit. Once you arrive to this page here, type in your username and your password. If you do not remember your email or your password, then send an email to Christina Ross. Her email is going to be below in the description. Once you put in your password, click login, and you should arrive at this page here. The first step is going to go to the top right-hand corner where these three dots are at, and click account. Here we're going to update all the personal information, including your first name, last name, your email address. This is where you can also update your password. Make sure your date of birth is correct. Also your gender. Your UUID is also your student ID. That has already been provided for you. You don't have to change that. Make sure your address is up to date, including the street address, the city, and the postal code. Make sure your phone number is up to date, including your mobile, the area code, and your full phone number. And these are your favorite events. This is where you can add shortcuts to your desktop. Click save here at the bottom. You're going to require your password to make the, the changes permanent. And you're going to arrive back at this home page. Now to begin with your health history questionnaire, hover over enter data. You can find it in these two locations, either down here or up in the black bar. Click on one of them. Hover over health history questionnaire and click. And you're going to arrive to this page here. Notice how your first name, last name, gender, date of birth, age, email address, your student ID, mailing address, and phone number have all been updated. Here in current assignment is where you begin inputting your data. Click on either sworn or civilian. If you click on sworn, then these two options will pop up. And if you click on civilian, then these three options will pop up. As a reminder, that all information is protected under HIPAA and FERPA. Santa Ana College does not share any personal information without student consent. So as we move on to the coronary risk stratification, these questions are the ones that you have seen every year that you've participated in our wellness program. Read through the questions and answer yes or no to each respective one. If you scroll down, you go to risk factors. Again, these are the questions that you have seen year after year. Read each question carefully and then answer yes or no. Continue with warning signs, then health history, cardiovascular, and here in the graphs where it says type of activity. This is where you can click on each box and type in what type of activity that you've been participating in, how many sessions per week, and minutes per session. You can either click on each respective box or you can use a tab key to move from box to box. And it will be the same thing when it comes to type of resistance activity. Click on the box, type it in, type in the appropriate information, and use the tab key to move from box to box. Continue the same process for the box asking, do you stretch? Type in the appropriate information, and continue filling out the sheet. Fill out the self-assessment. Fill out the motivation portion. Now the next portion called the injury history. This section is completely optional. The instructions read here. The following questions are optional. Your responses are anonymous and will be used for research and trend analysis only. So to fill out this section, the first question reads, do you have any current injuries? You answer yes or no. Based on that answer, a new pop-up menu is gonna show up right below. It's gonna ask location of injury, and you're gonna have three different options, upper body, lower body, and back. Based on whatever your answer is, then a new option is going to pop up. It's going to say, or it's going to ask type of injury, and it's going to ask whether it's skeletal or muscular. You choose one of the options, and then the last box is going to show up saying description or describe the injury in detail. 
Here, if you can describe your injury, again, this is completely optional. It is confidential. We are not disclosing these, these results with anybody. And the form continues. Now the question is, do you have any past injuries? You answer yes or no. Based on that answer, the new pop-up menu is going to show up, asking for location of injury. Now answer upper body, lower body, or back. The next question is going to ask type of injury, either muscular or skeletal, and then describe that past injury in detail. And finally, the last question asks, have any injuries affected your ability to perform your job duties at 100% in the past 12 months? You click on yes or no. If you click on yes, the follow-up question is, of all the shifts worked in the past 12 months, what percentage of the shifts have been affected by the injury? So here you can scroll this dowel either at 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 100%. And then the last question asks, have this or these injuries caused you to miss any shifts in the past 12 months? And this one's going to be a simple yes or no question. And again, I stress that these questions are optional. Your responses are anonymous and they're only used for research and trend analysis only. And to finish up, scroll down here on the signature, use the mouse or your finger to sign or initial your name, enter the date sign, which should be today's date, and click save and close on the bottom. We have one more document to fill out and it's your fitness assessment disclaimer. To find it, click on home on the top in that black bar click on enter data and then click here where it says fitness assessment disclaimer. Now the purpose of this document is that you're acknowledging that all results in this test process are not reviewed by a Santa Ana College doctor or medical provider. That you are advised to review your results with your personal physician. And for you to participate in this fitness assessment and blood draw, you must provide all the information below. Beginning with your doctor. If you know your doctor's name, this is where you type it in. If you do not know your doctor's name, then you can put the clinic or the hospital that you go to. So if it's Kaiser in the city of Santa Ana, then type in Kaiser. And then Google the street address in the city and the phone number, and then type it in the respective boxes. You will not be able to test unless this document is completely filled out. So make sure your doctor's name or the clinic or hospital is filled out, followed by the street address and the phone number. Lastly, scroll down and then use the mouse or your finger to sign. Type in your student name, and then the department name, and finally click Save and Close. And you have completed all the paperwork needed. And we thank you for participating in Santa Ana College Health and Wellness Program.